The White House COVID-19 response team and federal public health officials gave new warnings about the coronavirus pandemic on Wednesday. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Director Washelle Walensky said the U.S. has seen a new steady increase in COVID-19 cases over the past five weeks, and numbers are up 26 percent nationally from last week. After a six-week break, it was the first formal on-camera session led by President Biden's new coronavirus response coordinator, Dr. Ashish Jha. He emphasized more financing is needed to help combat the spread of the virus. And without additional resources, we will find ourselves in the fall or winter uh, with people getting infected and no treatments available for them because we will have run out. The federal government is providing a new round of free COVID-19 tests for people at home, with the U.S. Postal Service due to deliver the rapid antigen tests to households that want them. The Food and Drug Administration has signed off on COVID booster shots for 5 to 11-year-olds this week, with the CDC likely to approve them by the end of the week. A reminder that coronavirus vaccines are still among the best ways to protect against coronavirus illness. Health officials also said that the seven-day average shows about 3,000 new patients being admitted to hospital with COVID-19 a day, which is up 19 percent from last week. They're also warning there's a threat to the production of vaccines without more federal funding to combat the continuing COVID-19 pandemic. Caroline Malone, CGTN, Washington.